Hi everyone, myself Preen Duja, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. In this session, we are going to see about PVT behavior of pure fluids or pure substances. So what is PVT? PVT is nothing but pressure, volume and temperature. So here we are going to see about this pressure, volume and temperature behavior. So first is we are going to see about PT behavior. So it is nothing but pressure, temperature behavior. And here you can able to see that the PT diagram also given here. So there is three phases. One is solid phase, liquid phase and gaseous phase or we can say as vapor phase. So in this diagram, you can see that x-axis is temperature and y-axis is pressure of the pure substances which shows as the PT diagram. Let us see, solid substances reaches the liquid and liquid substances reaches to vapor and vapor substances reaches to the gas in this PT diagram for pure materials. So in this diagram you can able to see the two points, one is triple point and another one is critical point and there is a dotted line. So the green line indicates the fusion line and red line indicates the sublimation line and blue line indicates the vaporization line. So here you can able to see that there is a solid phase and here there is a liquid phase and bottom you can see that the vapor and this side you can see as the gaseous phase. So let us see what is the point, triple point and critical point, how it reaches the states. Here you can see the same diagram so which represents the 1 to 2 as sublimation line and 2 to 3 is fusion line so 2 to 3 is the dotted line and 2 to C line is the vaporization line and after that you can able to see that red color box so that state is indicated at the fluid region so here the three lines 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 2 to C display conditions of pressure and temperature at which two phases may coexist in equilibrium and are boundaries for the single phase region of solid phase and liquid phase and vapor phase. And coming to the explanation of the graph, so as we saw the in the diagram, so the line 1 to 2 which shows that the sublimation curve because if the pressure of the system is below the triple point pressure then the heating of the solid results in sublimation so and it separates the solid from the gas regions and the line 2 to 3 is fusion curve this fusion line represents the state of system at which the solid is in equilibrium with the liquid and the third line that is line 2 to C is known as the vaporization curve this vaporization line here is liquid begins to vaporize so and it separates liquid and gas region so fusion and vaporization curve and sublimation curve needs these three uh, phase coexist at equilibrium is known as the triple point so what is critical pressure and critical temperature so the pressure and the temperature Corresponding to the critical point or known as the critical pressure and critical temperature. So critical pressure is represented as Pc and critical temperature is represented as Pc. So these are the highest pressure and temperature at which pure substances can exist in vapor liquid equilibrium. So the critical pressure and critical temperature, these both are the highest pressure and temperature in at the pure substances in vapor liquid equilibrium. So as seen the graph, so which shows that the red color shaded part 
which indicates the fluid region. So that shaded area shows the area existing at pressure and temperature greater than the critical pressure and critical temperature. So this region is known as the fluid region. So the explanation for the graph, the gas region is sometimes divided into two parts as indicated by the dotted vertical line through temperature Tc. So that is critical temperature. The vapor region is the region to the left of this line and represent a gas that can be considered either by compression at constant temperature or by constant pressure. So these are all the gas region and vapor region. So the gas region is reached after the critical point and the vapor region reached after, after the triple point. So the region everywhere to the right of this line included the fluid region is termed as supercritical. So all the line which indicate after the uh, right side path is known as the critical, supercritical uh, region. And these are all about the PT diagram. And coming to the PV diagram for pure substances. So it is compared to PT diagram. In PT diagram it does not provide any information about volume. It merely displays the phase boundaries on a function of pressure and temperature. But as well as in uh, PV diagram, the triple point appears as a horizontal line where three phases coexist at the single temperature and pressure. So this is in the PV diagram. So here you can able to see the PV diagram. So that is uh, pressure volume diagram. So x axis is volume and y axis is the pressure. And C is the critical point. And Pz is the critical pressure. And Tc is the critical temperature. So there you can see the uh, curve. So the curve is named as dome shaped curve. So here in thermodynamic state of a pure fluid can be described in terms of two independent properties. So consider the thermodynamic state of a one component system. For example, we are taking as water which is represented in the figure as a function of pressure and volume. So the figure shows the variation in molar volume with pressure at various constant temperature. So there is gas phase, solid phase, vapor phase and liquid phase. So there is also liquid vapor phase and solid vapor phase. So isotherm, so isotherm is nothing but the curve, the dome shaped curve or lines of constant temperature and these are super imposed on the PV diagram as shown in the figure. So in the figure you can able to see the four dotted lines in isotherm curve. So first line is indicates the liquid that is saturated phase line at the point J, K uh, that is liquid vapor region and top of that is another uh, line that is vapor region so that indicates the T1 and T2 and C is the critical point. So coming to the explanation, the point C is the critical point and Vc is the critical volume at this point. The isotherm labeled T is greater than Tc, that is temperature is greater than critical temperature does not cross the phase boundary. So when the temperature of the system is increased to Tc that is at critical temperature, the discontinuous in the isotherm disappear 
indicate that at a critical temperature the saturated liquid and saturated vapor phase becomes indistinguishable the liquid state changes to the vapor state without any discontinuity at the critical point represented by the point c so the line labeled t1 and t2 are isotherms for sub critical temperature and they consist of three segments the horizontal segment of each isotherm represented all possible mixtures of liquid and vapor in equilibrium so at the ranging of 100% liquid to the left and 100% vapor to the right so to the left the curve is b and c b to c curve and the right the 100 percentage of vapor that is curve d to c the curve b to c represents saturated liquid at their boiling point and curve d to c represents saturated vapor at their con condensation point so the vapor and the liquid coexist in equilibrium or called saturated phase and the pressure at which the liquid and vapor phase coexist in equilibrium is called as the saturated pressure and the temperature corresponding to the pressure is called as the saturated temperature so subcooled liquid and the superheated vapor region lies to the left and the right and the subcooled liquid exists at temperature below the boiling point for the given question superheated vapor exists at temperature above the boiling point for the given pressure so isotherm is the in the subcooled liquid region are very steep because liquid volume changes little with larger in pressure and also in horizontal segment the isotherm in two phase region become shorter and higher temperature being ultimately reduced to a point c as the critical point so these are all about the pvt behavior of pure fluids so first we saw the pv pt diagram and second we saw the pv diagram and the concept thank you